angle. Here's the thing. We are creating something, something new, and I want you to be a part of it. The result of our endeavor might be nothing, it might be small, might be revolutionary, but it's precisely the mystery and the unknown that makes this whole journey kind of worth undertaking. And I believe it is a task worth pursuing even if the chances of success are minuscule. So what is gas? What are we trying to do here actually? We're trying to get to the bottom of creation itself, of course. On that way we want to solve the construction industry, get the AEC O to stop being one of the industries with the slowest growth, but as a first tiny step we will try to solve digital twins. Now that's the dry explanation. Digital twins are these unicorns, they appear everywhere yet they do not exist. No software can handle the amount of 3D data needed to represent a building as a true digital twin. Maybe for a tiny house that is possible, but now for a proper building, not really. So let's start with the crucial question. Why? Why would we embark on this journey at all? Well, we kind of believe that everyone's mouth is full of the term digital twin justifiably. Because if you actually did have a true complete digital twin of your building with every nut and bolt inside, every cable and socket, you could work on one centralized model and you could export everything you need from this accurate 3D database at the click of a button. So we have some ideas on how to create these unicorns. Now, who are we and why us? Well, we kind of already created these unicorns, secretly, in our own rooms, at our own desks, closed off from the society behind these bars made out of NDAs. And I have experienced a single person programming the automated generation of an entire complex double curved facade and structure for the largest freeform building in the world at that moment. So we, in our office, did this as well for some of the largest and geometrically most complex objects in the world. One of them, more than $2 billion worth, uh, is being built right now, and we will maybe be able to talk about it in the next few months. So we sat and thought about these methods deeply, about how to generalize them, and decided to try. Now, try what? Try how, you might ask. Well, in the beginning was the word, no? So we started writing some code, sketching some diagrams, we started reading books about biology, DNA, protein forming, finding out about the theory of music and the history of Japan, in order to extract some wisdom. Wisdom that will help us perceive the world in the right way, see it as it truly is, and use that knowledge to create. Now I know how all of this sounds, it sounds so mysterious and that contradicts my general openness and non-bullshit approach, but I will have to beg for your patience. At the moment there is like two or three of us working on this, mostly at night after we put our kids to sleep. We don't have the resources of large companies with thousands and tens of thousands of employees. And I don't want to talk about it too much only to find out that some of these large companies thought it might be an interesting idea, maybe worth testing and they'd throw a hundred engineers or developers to work on it and beat us to the punch. So I invite you to join me on a journey to acknowledge that in the AEC industry whatever you're doing our job description changed drastically with the rise of programming and automation. And now finally with the rise of AI the need for the skills we all have is at the brink of extinction. But what if those skills we have can be reshaped and reborn? What if? That's only up to you and up to us. And it won't be easy and it will take time, but it might be worth it. So honoring the sense of mystery, I will leave you with this. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? I would say no, because if no one is there to hear it or see it, then there was no tree in the first place. The reality can be treated 
as an illusion that only gets formed and presented to us when we look at it. Engage. Check gas out. All the links are in the description. Register right now after watching this video and subscribe. And if you're wondering who is Gal, stay free.